Through your mentoring role, you are already increasing protective factors in your mentee's life. They have the opportunity to observe, experience, and practice pro-social behaviors during their time with you. You are a positive role model in their life, and you are providing them with a mentoring relationship. You are making a positive difference. Think about mentors in your life. Who has been a positive influence? What qualities does that person have? What did they do that made a difference for you? If you refer back to the watch and listen sheet from your pre-lesson reading, you will see the definition of empathy, the ability to understand their own feelings and behavior. You'll also see that empathy is a key factor in preventing bullying. Empathy can be nurtured and strengthened through experiences and examples. As a preventative measure, think about this when you're spending time with your mentee. If you're reading a book or a story, take time to ask some questions, like, how do you think the character felt when that happened? Who else do you think was affected by that? How? How would you feel if that happened to you? If your mentee shares a situation with you, think about how to weave in some empathic questions. Modeling empathy through stories about your own experiences is another way to nurture this quality in your mentee. For more information on empathy, you might want to review How Not to Raise a Bully, The Early Roots of Empathy, found in your resources. Despite our best efforts, bullying behavior cannot always be prevented. Should your mentee share an experience of either being the target of bullying or engaging in bullying behaviors, there are some effective ways to support them. First, if your mentee is the target of bullying, they have already taken an important step in telling you an adult. You can ask them if they have told another trusted adult, like their parent, or a teacher, or the principal. If not, encourage them to do so. If they are reluctant to tell an adult at the school or other organization, then you may need to report the situation as covered earlier in your course materials. If your mentee is the one bullying others, ask some non-judgmental, open-ended questions like, what's going on? Tell me what has been happening. If your mentee feels threatened or judged, they will be less likely to tell you the truth. Trigger some empathy. Perhaps share how you would feel if they were doing that to you. Continue to check in with your mentee about their behavior and support them to change. As stated earlier, hurt kids hurt kids, and your mentee may require additional supports. Research shows us that 80% of bullying incidents stop within 10 seconds when a bystander steps in. Often children and youth believe that stepping in means some heroic step like jumping in the middle of a fight or argument. Not all of us are confident enough to do this and often it's not safe. We need to reinforce that small gestures and quiet support mean a lot to someone who is a target of bullying. Support can be approaching someone and saying, I saw what happened earlier, are you okay? It could be sitting with someone at lunch who's sitting alone. If your mentee talks with you about a situation they observed, reinforce these ideas as a way for them to help their friend. If they have a friend who is engaging in bullying behaviors, support is also required. Letting their friend know that they aren't okay with what the person is doing is the first step. You may wish to check out the interactive video, Spot It and Stop It, where you watch a scenario and choose your response. This is an activity you might want to do with your mentee. For this and more information on the importance of bystanders, you can also visit the website BeFree.ca. Both Spot It and Stop It and Be Free are in your resource section. So what do children and youth say? Children and youth are often the best ones to provide us adults with advice about what's what works and what doesn't when it comes to addressing bullying situations. You will be learning more about youth's ex expertise and experiences as you complete your next activity.